Good morning, folks. We've got two solar eruptions to detail today. We're also going to hit a fascinating study on oxygen at the ocean floor and solar forcing of severe weather via auroral gravity waves. Let's actually go back in time 24 hours and see the SOHO coronagraphs. This data was late in updating. It wasn't showing this faint halo CME yesterday morning, but it shows it now. Luckily, it is very weak, as NOAA forecasters suggest it is heading right for Earth. Impact is expected to occur tonight or tomorrow with minor geomagnetic storms expected. The last one they forecast never ended up causing much of anything. We'll see about this one. But as we go to the last 24 hours on our star, activity is a bit different. We didn't have much in the way of solar flares, but Earth is currently being bombarded with high-energy protons. We're in a minor proton storm now, actually. But the cause was something that happened on the far side of the Sun. Look at the outer edge here and we'll replay it again. That ripple was a massive blast that occurred over the limb out of view on the opposite side of the sun. As you can see here on SOHO, it was a very big CME. The plasma hit the curving interplanetary magnetic fields and was guided to Earth even while the CME itself will miss. And it was the source of the ongoing proton storm at Earth. Outside of the sun, we had two very interesting stories. First, oxygen at the ocean depths. They say it's a mystery where it's coming from, but they actually give the only sensible answer at the end of the article. Electricity splitting water. Not only did they suggest how such current may exist, but when you consider also the induction from solar storms, which they didn't mention, and how strong it can get at the bottom of the sea, it makes even more sense. And I wonder how serious this can get in a major solar storm event and what the effects of that would be. Last but not least, we are once again looking at the waves of energy triggered by auroral excitement. We have seen these impacting various atmospheric phenomena, and here, one of the top researchers on solar forcing shows mechanistically how those waves impact severe storms, flooding, tropical storms, and even snowstorms. It's just one more confirmation of the sun impacting the most significant weather events on Earth. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 7 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.